Hey. Well, well, good morning. Morning, you two. You okay? Better than before. Where is this? What happened to me afterward? You're at the inn in Lady Lake. Alicia graciously took care of the arrangements. You really were asleep for three days straight, you know? Was I? Now that Saray has awoken, why don't we all take a walk around town? I'm game. All right, let's go. He's finally awake. Thank goodness. Oh my, he's younger than I thought. It's the shepherd. Literally an overnight celebrity. Indeed he is. You must be hungry, kind shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh, really? Well, then I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little while. There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. Uh, you all right? Uh, I just felt strange all of a sudden. Like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. Gorgeous lake! It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah, now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila, this little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. 
What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of Calamity? Calamity? Yes. This figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. <sighs> It's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. Is that a monolith? You know, I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it'd be so important. It's kind of weird, but I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most, uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Hey, Lila, what kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry, I missed what you said. So, what were the other Shepherds like? I missed what you said. Lila? Yes? Hiding something? Oh my, isn't this lovely weather? Looks like she doesn't want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I... I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly! You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? 
Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Saray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. We'd better get going. Chop, chop. No time to waste. The food is probably ice cold by now. Uh, <laughs> Let's get going. Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... clothes? Ah, perfect timing. Well, go get changed. You kind of smell. <laughs> All right, then. Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepherd. It really does. So dashing. Oh man, I want one. It's the garb of the Shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just admit it, Miklio. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. Man, these clothes offer more mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial if... 